Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the what's in my hospital bag video. So I think I've pretty much got everything ready to go. Um, as we discuss this, I may think of other things that I want to add to it. Um, it's hard. I tried to throw some things in this bag that are my last minute items that I obviously am still using right up until the time that I'll need to be packing it. Um, but I'll do my best. This is my second pregnancy, so I have a better idea of what to bring. It doesn't mean that I'm a professional. It doesn't mean that this is the end all be all. Take whatever comforts are gonna make you feel as good as you can while you're in the hospital. It's a it's an experience <laughs> and I I just learned a few things that for me personally I would have done differently and am going to do differently heading into this pregnancy. So the first thing I have is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the GM size. I carried this bag for a very long time as a diaper bag with my first daughter and I may go back to it once I have this baby as well just because it holds so much. The name is everything. It's never full and I love my Speedy B um, bandolier and it holds a lot too and I can throw like some snacks in there for my daughter. I can throw a couple diapers if I need to um, but what I've been doing is I keep a diaper bag in the car at all times that has diapers, wipes, a few toys, um, oh just some odds and ends things like bug spray and sunscreen an extra pair of shoes and I leave that in the car so that I can just grab it if we're going somewhere for a longer period of time. Um, I usually just have that available when I take my daughter over to my mom and dad's house. I can just give them that bag and I know she's got all the essentials that she needs. So I don't really carry it with me everywhere. Um, but my daughter is 16 months old so she doesn't require a whole lot as much as a newborn anyway so in my neverfull for my hospital stay um, and keep in mind my last stay in the hospital my last pregnancy I was induced and I was in the hospital for five days <laughs> I went in on a Tuesday afternoon to be induced and I didn't leave until Saturday so that's not the case for most people, but it was for me, and I just want to be prepared for whatever may happen. So inside this bag, I will try to show you. I do have one of those organizers in here, so it's got lots of pockets around the edges, and that is what I used um, when I used it as a diaper bag. So um, it does have two bottle slips on the sides. In there I have my water bottle. This is by Thermos. I don't know if you can see that. This is the best water bottle I own. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, I might look into getting a bigger one, but this thing is amazing. I have a Yeti. I actually have it up here with me right now, um, and it's great. I love my Yeti, but this thing, I'm telling you, keeps things cold forever. Um, so I'm taking it with me. I know they give you those giant um, like pitchers of water at my hospital and that's great um, and I will plan on keeping that full, having my husband refill it as often as possible, but then I'm gonna put some of it in here because this just keeps it ice ice cold and it's amazing. I guess I'll leave everything out as I go. The next bottle slip pocket I have my toothbrush case so I use an electric toothbrush it is the Sonicare diamond clean I believe 
anyway, it came with this little case. It's like a hard case with a charging port at the end, which is so convenient because everybody has a charging cord on them now, at least you should. Um, so if I take my toothbrush, it fits right inside here. It's hard to see. There's little slots for it. Um, and then when you close it, you can plug it in and it'll actually charge your toothbrush in this travel case. So I love this. I'm taking this with my toothbrush. I have a fan. This is a personal fan. It's got three settings. I got this on Amazon. I'll try to link it for you. I'll try to link as much as I can for you below. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm like out of breath this entire video, I'm sure. I'm 35 weeks pregnant today, so I'm large and in charge and all of my organs have pressure. Um, so anyway, personal fan and I'm taking this just because they do keep the OB units warm for the babies, of course. Um, you do have a thermostat in your room, so we can make it colder, but of course I want the baby to be comfortable. Um, they do keep the little bassinet crib things in the room with you, so the baby is always in the room. They don't go to the nursery anymore. Um, so I want the baby to be comfortable, so I will also need to be comfortable. Um, and this, I can just kind of prop it up on the table, and it's my own personal little fan. I have two of these. I keep one at work because the struggle is real. <laughs> I'm a nurse, so I'm on my feet all day, running around, taking care of other people. I get hot, and I don't want to be that sweaty, gross nurse. <laughs> so. The fan is a savior. Love this thing, taking it with me. The next thing I have is actually, this is a pouch full of letters for a letter board. Um, I had it in here, I took it out because it has her name on it. Um, but we are taking that letter board. Um, it's like a 10 by 10. Um, it just has her name. Uh, these are extra letters and numbers so that we can fill in her weight, uh, length, um, time, all of that with the birth so that when we have pictures taken, uh, we can have maybe some with that. Um, I didn't do that last time. We didn't do pictures at the hospital with my first daughter. Um, we did a newborn session a few days after she was born. And that was fine and I loved it, but I just want to do something different this time. So we're having a photographer come to the hospital and we're going to do some more candid shots. Um, but of course I will probably stick that letter board in the bassinet with the baby so that we can do kind of our name reveal that way. Uh, the other thing about having the pictures at the hospital is that you don't have all those cutesy things like they have in picture studios and the photographer explained to me that she can't bring those things with her because of sterility purposes basically you don't want to be using the same items from baby to baby and room to room possibly spreading any germs so if i want anything specific i have to bring it on my own so that's why i feel like i'm bringing a little bit of an extra amount of stuff than i normally would it's because we're doing those pictures. So anyway, the next thing I have in here, I actually have clipped to the little key ring in here. And this is just a little silicone pouch. Um, I wish I could remember the brand. Maybe it's, oh, here it is. It's a Rosy Pope. I think this is a baby brand, Rosy Pope. It's a silicone um, pacifier pouch. And it's got like a little clip. So it clips right on to the inside D ring in my bag. Um, so in here, I just have two pink passies. Um, I know there's mixed feelings on pacifiers with babies. Um, my daughter used one, I think, until about six months. And only at bedtime or sleeping time. 
which I've read is actually good for the baby because it helps to keep their airway open. So I don't know, to each their own. And you know what? Some babies probably like them. Some babies probably don't. But my daughter used one at, at bedtime or nap time. Um, and just those little cheapy ones, not like the big plastic um, things. I mean, she's 16 and a half months old and she doesn't have a pacifier anywhere even available to her. She's not interested in them. I'm not giving them to her. She does suck her thumb a little bit at bedtime only, and I think that's because that's when she had the pacifier. It's like a self-soothing thing. And fun fact, I have heard that thumb suckers, now this is me and my crazy research. You can comment below <laughs> with whatever you want. I'm not judging anyone. I don't want anyone to judge me. Um, but my daughter does sometimes take her thumb and that is when I know that she's tired because she only does it when she's tired. Um, but I've heard that, or in my research found that thumb suckers are really good at self-soothing and they tend to be people, as they grow up, tend to be people that can handle their emotions or handle their stress because they're good at self-soothing. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm a pretty anxious person sometimes. Um, and I was not a thumb sucker. So we'll see. We'll see how this all turns out. But um, I don't yank her thumb out of her mouth. She only does it at bedtime. So it is what it is. The next thing I have in here is this little Pandora um, makeup. I mean, makeup pregnancy brain. I'm crazy. Jewelry pouch. So, or jewelry container travel situation. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, so it's from Pandora. It was, I think this was like one of those, um, things where if you spent so much money at Pandora, you got it for free. Um, so that's how I got this. Um, anyway, it, it zips open and I don't know if I'll take the whole thing. Um, and the only reason I'm taking this is because of the photos as well. Normally I would not take my jewelry. I would just have on whatever I had on. Although I do like having a place to put it. I'm last time I had a natural birth, but you never know. It could be a C-section. It could be, it could be a whole lot of things. So I don't know. I just like having a place to put things. So in here, it's got this little separate pouch. And this is normally what I'll just take. It's just an open pouch. You can throw necklaces, earrings, rings, everything in there. Otherwise, if you take this, it's got little slots for rings. It's got a spot for earrings. A piece comes out and there's a spot for your Pandora bracelet to fit in here perfectly. And a couple more compartments for earrings and things. It's hard to see because the entire interior is black, but I just threw this in here. I don't know if I'll take the entire thing or just the pouch, but I am going to take probably whatever earrings and necklace and stuff I want to wear for the pictures versus who knows what I go in there with, you know? So there's that. And the last thing, I think it's the last, oh no, in another pouch I have my charging cord. So this is the, it's either six or ten foot. It's a huge one. Um, just for my iPhone, because um, I'll keep that at the bedside, and I want a long cord so that I can have my phone close by. So I've got that in there. Now I think the last thing that I have in the big section is my makeup bag. Now again, the only reason I'm taking this is for photos. Last time, I think I took just a little bit of makeup, and I don't think I used it at all because you're just in the hospital enjoying your new baby and breastfeeding and close friends and family come to visit and they've all seen you completely undone. So I'm taking it this time just because we're having the pictures done and I want to look somewhat decent in those pictures. So this is my makeup bag. This is a vintage Louis Vuitton. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if it's called a cosmetic pouch or a toiletry bag. Um, I 
don't even remember where I got it. I either got it from, I've gotten a few things from Fashion File, The Real Real. Um, anyway, this is from like the 1980s. It's vintage. I don't think they make this style anymore. So you have to buy this pre-loved. Um, and if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I try to buy everything pre-loved because you just save so much money that way. So I don't want to go through every bit of what's in here, but I've got my makeup brushes. I've got my makeup, um, pretty much everything that I'll need to do my makeup that day. So I only left a few things in here, but this is the organizing pouch. Oop, if I can show you without it being too flimsy. So that, those are the bottle slips that I was talking about. And I have a few things left in those containers. Um, the only other thing is in this big zipper pouch. And this has a huge zipper pouch. I love it. So what I have in here is like my purse. So in here I have my sunglasses, my everyday glasses, and my uh, Zippy Multicarts wallet. So this is another example of why I love this thing. It fits in everything. And that is all I have in that bag that'll be going with me. Let me just get this out of the way for right now. So that's that bag. That's my kind of personal stuff, I guess. Uh, the only other thing that I don't have right here with me that I am for sure taking is my pillow. And I have a kind of maroon burgundy um, pillowcase on it because I don't want the hospital to mistakenly take my pillow when they're cleaning the room and cleaning the beds and stuff because they use all white pillowcases and their pillows are terrible. <laughs> I think if you have followed my channel in any capacity up to this point, then you know that I have had five general anesthesia procedures during this pregnancy. So I've spent a fair amount of time in the hospital. The beds are not comfortable. The pillows are not comfortable. So I'm taking my own, my own pillow. Um, the other thing that I have here that I'm taking that I did not take last time and I probably would not take this time if I was not having pictures is this boppy infant, I'm sorry, it's the, let me read it to you, the actual item. So I got this from Pottery Barn Baby. It is the Boppy Lux Newborn Lounger. I, this is it, and the other side has polka dots, so I don't know if you can tell very well, but it's bigger on one end, and then it gets thinner at the other, so the baby fits in here, it kind of helps support their head and body. I used this <laughs> mostly for taking pictures of June is my first daughter. So I would prop her up there with a cute blanket or something on it. Um, and it was perfect for taking pictures. If you are someone who likes to do monthly pictures or whatever, <laughs> this is a blanket that I have for her. One side is this pretty floral. The other side is this like shirling. So I plan to kind of lay the shirling side on the lounger, um, put the baby on there maybe for some of the pictures since the photographer is not allowed to bring her own things. This is kind of one prop that I'm bringing for photography. So I've got that. We'll get into this bag now. So I decided this last time I took a humongous duffel bag and it was fine. It worked fine, but I'm taking a suitcase this time just because I figure it'll open up and everything will just be more visible, more accessible. And that sounds more appealing to me. <laughs> so I was hoping 
to take a carry-on size but as I started gathering my things I realized that's probably not gonna work so this is the next size up I do have the set in this um, luggage and it's just Samsonite I believe I got the entire set at TJ Maxx once upon a time um, for a pretty reasonable price so let me lay this guy down and we'll go through what I have in here if I don't knock the whole place down <laughs> um, so while I'm opening this I will tell you that I am 35 weeks pregnant today as I mentioned and I did have I'm having weekly appointments at this point uh, and I don't know because of my situation I guess they want to do weekly biophysical profiles now so I have an ultrasound at every appointment I wish I could remember right now what they look for in the biophysical profiles I just asked the sonographer today uh, so today she did an estimated fetal weight and this baby is at 35 weeks estimated at six pounds two ounces right now which is a little bit above average at my 30 week appointment so five weeks ago uh, baby was measuring at four pounds seven ounces which was in the 48th percentile so I don't know this baby's catching up <laughs> uh, June when she was born she was 40 weeks and four days when I delivered and she was eight pounds 5.3 ounces so I'm anticipating close to if not more than an eight pound baby again so that was my update from today um, oh the biophysical profile sorry pregnancy brain I gotta try to bring this back um, biophysical profile I know they look for large body movements um, small body movements including like their breathing they want to see that the baby's breathing normally um, large body movements so you know moving around in the womb okay I think they look at like your placenta or cord pressure it's like sort of measuring a blood pressure for the baby's umbilical cord anyway mine was fine everything was fine they get two points for each criteria section and it's a possible eight points um, so today my little girl got eight out of eight points um, they said or she said, um, baby looks as much like a healthy baby should look. So hopefully everything's okay. I'm still nervous since I've gone through so many procedures and so many things and she's gone through all of it with me. She's a tough girl. I hope, I hope that everything's okay. So sorry, this is long winded. That's me. <laughs> I talk too much. So anyway, in my suitcase, I have just a couple of loose items and then the rest I have in packing cubes and I will try to link those below as well. I got them on Amazon, but I'm taking a loofah. This has never been used and I will throw it away at the hospital um, because I don't know, you use it and then it's like still wet and still has stuff. I'm just gonna throw it away so that's my plan a brand new loofah that I will just use for this hospital stay and I'll throw it away when I'm there so I've got that I also have my slides my adidas slides so I will wear these in the shower and possibly you know when I walk in the hall and stuff like that but waterproof keep the germy grossy stuff off of you I mean these are pregnant women or women who just had baby whose little stuff is all over the shower. I know they clean it, but mm, I'm taking my shoes. Um, the next thing that I have, let's do this boring stuff first. So this is one of the packing cubes. So this is all the stuff that I have packed for Steven. Um, I don't know, that's my husband. <laughs> I don't know if you all are interested in seeing 
every bit of what I've got for him, but I just have a couple t-shirts, underwear, socks, um, some sleep shorts, sleep pants, um, his blue jeans, things like that. I do not have in my bag yet for him his charging cord for his phone, his toothbrush, any of his toiletries really. I'm kind of like, that's your responsibility. Get it together and give it to me. Um, so that is just his clothes in that packing cube. I've got my things in a packing cube. So the set of packing cubes that I got came with two large cubes. Don't quote me. I'll try to link it. But in here, I'm using two of the large, one medium, and one small so far. That's what I've got. So Steve and I both have the large size for all of our stuff. I will go through mine if you're interested. Um, the first thing that I have is this little night sleeper. It's kind of a prettier one. It's like this burgundy color. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's cute. It's really comfortable, really lightweight. This is from Pink Blush, and I really like them. I have a few robes from them that I've mentioned in videos before. I have another robe from them that I'm taking. This is just a navy blue, kind of an oatmeal colored uh, striped robe. I just thought this would kind of be pretty for pictures with that burgundy, navy, and oatmeal color together. And then I have my, I call these my tried and true pregnancy pajamas. They are from Nordstrom. They're just the Nordstrom lingerie line. Black pants with a black top with the white um, piping. It's a button up set. I was interested in these for a long time, but I held off because I thought the buttons and all of that stuff would be so uncomfortable for sleeping. But these are the most comfortable pajamas ever. I own them in so many colors and they're the best. They are the best. So you just unbutton a button or two and you can breastfeed or pump or whatever you need to do. They're super comfortable, super soft, love them. I have a couple pairs of underwear in here, some that are raggedy and gross and I don't care about ruining. And then I do have a couple pair that I just recently purchased um, that are more high-waisted and are um, pretty thick and a little bit of like a slimming material. And the only reason I'm doing that is for when I'm leaving the hospital. I don't have a belly bandit or whatever those things are called that you wrap yourself with um, to try to re-shrink your belly after pregnancy. I don't have one right now. I'm interested in one. Comment below if you have used one, if you plan to use one, what you think of them, what's the best one, because there's so many different ones out there and I just don't know. And I mean, I'm a plus size girl to begin with, so... I don't know. Let me know. Um, the next thing that I have is my going home outfit. So I packed two different pairs of leggings because I don't know what's going to be the most comfortable after this pregnancy. Um, I think they typically tell you that once you deliver the baby, your belly kind of goes back to like a six month. My camera decided that I was done filming, so restarting it. Anyway, so you go back to like a six month pregnant belly. Um, from what I remember with my daughter is just like your belly is so hard and I don't know, round and nice, I guess, when you're pregnant. And oh my gosh, after I delivered, I just felt like my belly went from like here to like this big sag. And it was, it's definitely smaller because you don't have that baby in there anymore, 
but you still have all that skin and it's just flabby there. I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to feel like just being comfortable and just get me home or if I want something that's going to kind of suck me in a little bit and make me feel a little more or a little less flabby. Anyway, so I'm taking a pair of my maternity leggings. Are these maternity leggings before I lie to you? Yes, a pair of maternity leggings. And then I'm also taking my Spanx leggings, which are like my favorite leggings of all times. They're just the regular, oh, let's see if I can find the name on here. Oh my gosh. I'll try to link it. I'll link it because <laughs> I can't read this. But um, I'm like 5'3", five, 5'3", three, five three, and I just buy the Spanx cropped leggings and it's like a regular length legging on me. Um, otherwise, when I get leggings, they're just so long and annoying. I have just a plain black v-neck tea and this is from Nordstrom it's the BP brand it was very inexpensive and it's I can still wear it now in this pregnancy I mean it's like big and flowy so right now it's tight on me because I have a really big belly but I know that it'll just be pretty perfect excuse me when I'm done um, and then I've got this like denim jacket but it's like a, it's not a true denim jacket. It's like a longer, um, I can't talk. <laughs> it's a little bit longer. It's soft. It's got a hood. Um, since my due date is November 11th, I figure it'll still be chilly, but not snowing. Of course, I'll pack my winter jacket if we're to that point, which I hope we're not. <laughs> um, and then the only other thing I have in here is this little headband it's like a faux bandana headband. I love these. It's super comfy, super cute. And that's that. So moving on to the other side of my suitcase. I only have a couple more bags to go. This one is my toiletry bag or my bathroom bag, whatever you want to call it. I have a lot of travel sized things in here. I don't know if you want to see it all. It's not exciting, but I will tell you what's in here. I have some deodorant. I have a sample sized eye cream. I have the sample size of my makeup remover. Again, some of these things I'm only taking because I'm taking my makeup and that's just for the pictures. Otherwise I would not be taking those things. I've got a facial moisturizer uh, sample size. I have a small dry shampoo. I have a small hairspray, body wash. Uh, I've got um, shampoo and conditioner. I've got a small sample size of my hair oil. What else do I have in here? A small toothpaste some q-tips, some extra hair ties, uh, face wash. I think that's all I have in here right now. There may be a few things that I'm missing that I just need to throw in here when I either buy them or find them. Uh, but those are your basics. Uh, the next thing I have is in another packing cube and this is kind of my postpartum stuff. So some of this stuff I don't need to bring but because the hospital provides pretty much everything that you need however I did find that some of it was less comfortable or I don't know just less convenient because the hospitals let's be real they don't have the best quality stuff like their pads I don't know. So I'm taking some of my own pads and I've contemplated getting the Depends. I see that a lot of people take the Depends. I want to know. Comment below if you've used the Depends. Is it enough? Like, is it good? You can just wear the Depends and you don't need anything extra. 
or do you still need a pad with the depends because I feel like that would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, anyway, I went ahead and bought these. These are the exact same pads that I used last time and I think they are the always just the biggest, most obnoxiously bulky pads that they have. Um, but I just remember feeling pretty secure with these. So I'm taking a few of these. I'm also taking my Earth Mama Herbal Perineal Spray. Um, take care down there. This is the same bottle that I had um, when I had my daughter. Uh, I'm taking that. They do give you a little squirt bottle in the hospital. You know, you fill it with warm water to squeeze and clean yourself. Um, but I have this um, Frida, Frida Baby Fridette, Fridette, uh, the mom washer. So the one they give you in the hospital is just a straight bottle. Um, so you have to hold it straight under and just squeeze it up. This, I will take it out and show you. This thing is, <laughs> for what it is, it's so nice. So it's, you fill it with warm water. It looks like this. So it's got this angled end. So when you are down there to wash, you just hold this straight down and it angles up and it's got like these really tiny holes on the end. So it's like a shower. <laughs> it is so nice. And then when you're ready, to travel it just pops down in there comes with this little pouch and it's just really nice and I have it and I like it and I like it better than what they give you in the hospital so I'm taking it um, another thing that I'm taking that I can't remember if they have at the hospital or not I really don't remember but this is the dermaplast pain relieving spray for burn and itch um, TMI, but we're here to share and learn from each other, right? With my first pregnancy, I tore in two places. So, that, I mean, my delivery was pretty much uncomplicated. I only pushed for 45 minutes and everything went well. I had a vaginal delivery, uh, but of course, right at like the 45 minute mark um, the baby's heart rate started to drop a little bit and I had I guess excessive bleeding and they didn't know if it was coming from me or from the baby so instead of waiting for contractions to push they just had me push to try to get her out as fast as I could and evidently the excessive bleeding was from me and I don't know if it was from pushing or from her coming through the birth canal but I had a tear on the inside of my vaginal wall. And then of course, probably because I pushed without waiting for a contraction, I ended up tearing externally as well. So this spray <laughs> was nice to have. Um, now, the other thing that was nice because of that was these um, Tux medicated cooling pads. And I do know that they have, maybe it's not the Tux brand, that they have at the hospital, but they had something similar to this. Um, but I have these left over and I'm not, yeah, they expire in November of this year. So I figure why not take them? I'm due in November. I can use them and take home with me what they have in the hospital because they let you take all that stuff home. Um, and then I'll have to repurchase new anyway. So I'm taking these with me um, and then the last thing that I'm taking again I can't remember if they had these or something similar to it but these are left over as well and these actually expire this month so they're gonna be a little past date but most things are probably fine so this is the preparation H medicated wipes um, Gentle everyday cleansing to reduce irritation. Cools, soothes, and comforts. Convenient, easy to use for hemorrhoid and vaginal care. Flushable and septic safe. Although I try not to flush anything like these. But, so I'm taking these wipes as well. 
And that's all I have in this packing cube. I don't think as far as postpartum care there's anything else that I plan to pack in here. Um, because they pretty much give you everything you need. So the last thing I have is my last packing cube. And this is the medium size. And this is all things for the new baby. So what I'm taking in here is I have this newborn like cute shirling like teddy bear. Um, it's kind of just a big onesie sleeper travel thing. I don't know. It's November, and I don't know exactly what day I'm going to deliver, but she may need this to go home in if it's cold outside. So, taking that, I'm also taking, this is a um, swaddle. So this is a camel-colored swaddle. I plan on wrapping her up in this for some pictures. I do have this little hat that kind of matches um, and it's kind of a fall-ish pattern. I don't know if you can see on there. There's some floral and some acorns and some greenery. I just think it's really cute. I consider November to still be a fall time. And I just think that that is really, really cute. So, other than that, I have three different colored bows um, for pictures. So maybe in that swaddle with the hat, swaddle with one of these bows. I've got a pink, a burgundy, and a navy blue. And I packed the navy blue because we are Notre Dame Fighting Irish fans and it is football season. And if I happen to be in the hospital on a Saturday and it's game day, we might have to get some blue and gold going on. <laughs> Anyhow, the other things that I've got in here, I have this, oh, the swaddles from Copper Pearl, so is the hat. Um, the bows are from Amazon. I have similar style bows that I used for June and they are perfect. Like the stretch is perfect. They don't leave marks on the head. I put them on myself to make sure that it would stretch and not leave a dent or <laughs> give me a headache. They are perfect. I will try to link them below. This is also from Copper Pearl. This is a one of those multi-use things. So I, for the most part, used mine as a car seat cover, which is kind of what I plan to use this time, since it will probably be a little cold outside. Um, but it's a car seat cover. You can also put it over yourself and use it as kind of a breastfeeding cover. Um, you can put it over the carts at the grocery store, use it as a cart cover. These things are so versatile and really, really nice. I've got a couple of them. Love it. Uh, next, I'm taking this Love to Dream. This is like a night sleep sack. I used these with June. Uh, for quite a while actually. I have several of these small size which is 7 to 13 pounds. So we used this a lot and we even got the next size up for her because she slept so well in these. I'm hoping that this baby will as well. So I'm taking that. Another thing that I was obsessed with for June and mostly out of convenience <laughs> are these little sleep dresses so it's like a sleep onesie on top it's got the long sleeves it's got the little fold over arm so that it covers their little hands so they don't scratch themselves and then at the bottom it's just this elastic so you can just pull it up to change the diaper and it keeps them cozy, they're easily accessible, so you don't have to do a whole lot of 
you know, wrangling them around, getting them out of stuff to change them. So I've got this one, which is just a really pretty pink with some little heart detail. If you can see, you probably can't see that. Um, the next one is the same exact thing, only in a different pattern. So this is just more of a floral, but it's the same. It's the little sleep dress. I do have a traditional onesie, and this was June's, and we just loved this on her so much. It's got little giraffes and cars. I don't know. It's just so cute, and it's got the little fold-over sleeves so they don't scratch themselves, and it's got little giraffe feet. It's just so cute. We loved it on her, and I don't know. I'm excited for this new baby to use a lot of the stuff that June used. I think it's going to be sentimental and sweet that they're sharing. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I have is just a regular swaddle. This is from Bebe Ole, <laughs> and it's just a white, I don't know, I figured it would be convenient if we needed something for just pictures. We could wrap her up in that and do some bows or the hat with that as well. Um, or we could throw it over the infant lounger if we didn't want the shirling. So that's all I have in that bag as well. So that is everything that I have right now. If you think that I'm forgetting anything, please leave it in the comments below. I do have pregnancy brain, so trying to plan can be difficult. Um, so the only things that I know that I need are my pillow my husband's toiletries and electronics. Um, we'll probably throw in my uh, Neverfull some snacks, although the hospital is really good at having things available. They've got some different drinks. It's not just water. They've got some juices and um, like graham crackers and peanut butter and just some different things. Like it's not terrible and then we have, um, like one of our local grocery stores has a deli inside the hospital that's really good. They make really good paninis and salads and soups and just, they've got good options there. So, and then of course hospital food, which is the, probably the least exciting. But, um, yeah, so I think I'm doing pretty good considering I'm only 35 weeks bag is pretty much packed and ready to go minus the few last minute things that we'll need but that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any things that you think that I'm forgetting or must-haves for the hospital please leave it in the comments below um, if you have suggestions on videos that you want to see in the future kid related pregnancy related makeup fashion anything let me know what you want to see um, and I'll try to make that happen for you. And thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys.